And we are back on Sportsman Radio. I'm your host, Chris Shanfell, and I am now joined by Northern Illinois alumnus, who is now quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts, Chandler Harnish. Thanks for joining the show, Chandler. How's it going? Hey, Chris. Things are going really well. I really appreciate you uh, having me on. Hey, it's a pleasure, and I want to start this interview off by talking a little bit about your college days. You attended Northern Illinois University, and I'll ask you this first. How did you know that NIU would be the best fit for you? Uh, you know, NIU was one of the schools that came along early on in my high school recruiting process, and they just showed uh, right from the get-go that they really wanted me to come and play, and, um, you know, they were the first school to offer me a scholarship. So, you know, after a few other schools offered, and, you know, I sat down with my dad and I thought about it, and and uh, I remember him telling me a, a very valuable piece of information or advice, I guess. He said, go somewhere where you're wanted. Go somewhere where, where your coaches want you to play and, and want you to be there. And, and at the time, I really was looking at Purdue. But Purdue kind of kept playing uh, the waiting game, and they didn't show that they completely wanted me. Hmm. Um, so, you know, it was a relatively easy decision. I went with uh, NIU and never looked back. And before committing to NIU, did you know that you would be redshirting your freshman year? Um, you know, I didn't know that for sure, but I thought there was probably a good chance that I would redshirt. I, I don't think I was uh, ready ready to play yet, both, you know, physically and mentally. And I think there's a lot of the game that I didn't know at the point. Um, so that first year of redshirting was, was huge for my develop, development. Excuse me. All right, Chandler, now I want to fast forward to your senior year at NIU in 2011 where you're coming off of a great junior year in 2010 uh, where you led NIU to 11 wins. During your senior year, you earned many uh, awards, including the Vern Smith Leadership Award and the MAC Offensive Player of the Year Award. Uh, what do those awards mean to you? To be quite honest, they don't mean anything. <laughs> uh, you know, that, that's just, uh, you know, it, it was more about the team. Uh -huh. I was just a byproduct of, of a great team, and I had a great uh, senior class around me. I had a great offensive line. I think we had uh, two or three All-Americans on the offensive line. I had some awesome wide receivers, one of which I'm playing with now with the yeah. Colts. And, uh, you know, I, I don't really harp too much on the, the, um, the personal accolades because when you do well as a team, all those personal things follow, and uh, uh, it's just kind of like uh, icing on the cake, if you will. And, um, so I don't really think too much about the, the awards that I won, but more about the team success that we had. And you were the first quarterback at NIU to lead his team to four straight bowl games. Like you said, you guys had some pretty talented teams. Overall, how would you describe your experience at Northern Illinois University? Life-changing. It was so much fun um, being at Northern. I was I was away from my family, so I had to learn to, to grow up and become a man. Hmm. And I didn't know anybody when I first went there. I had no friends, and uh, so I had to create a new uh, support staff up there, friends, teammates, all that kind of stuff. And um, you know, it really kind of has made me into the man I am today and uh, the player I am today. Any chance you're familiar with Brian Lawson, known as Buck? Uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, 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 I do, I do, I do. He, uh, he played with us for, for a couple of years, mm -hmm. unfortunately. I think he, uh, he, I think he got sick maybe and couldn't play yep. anymore, is that correct? Yep, that's correct. He's actually from my hometown. I'm, uh, I would say I'm an acquaintance to him. I, I somewhat know him. I know he's from my high school, but, uh, moving on, NIU played Florida State in the Orange Bowl just this past season, Chandler, Chandler and unfortunately you guys came up just short, but had a great season nonetheless. You guys were pretty damn good, and you guys had a really good quarterback over there in, uh, Jordan Lynch. What are your thoughts on how he and the Huskies performed last season? I'll tell you what, that was just an unbelievable season. Um, you know, most people thought that NIU would kind of take a step back after having a couple good years with, with our class and um, just losing the amount of players that we did, especially on the offense side of the ball. No one thought they'd be able to do what they did. And, um, you know, they came out and won 12 games, went to Orange Bowl. Just so so proud to be an NIU alumni to watch those guys. and uh, So proud personally of Jordan. You know, he's a very, very close friend of mine. Uh, played with them for four years. Um in the QB room all the time with him. So he's a kid that deserves it. He works his butt off. Uh, he comes from, you know, blue collar, hardworking uh, south side of Chicago. And, uh, you know, the sky's the limit for that kid, and I expect uh, another great season out of him. What about those uniforms, man? Those uniforms in that Orange Bowl game were <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Those uniforms were sick. I, I wish we had the opportunity to do something like that. But once you go to the big game, 
all of a sudden, uh, mm-hmm. you know, those sponsors start doing some pretty cool things for you. Oh, yeah. Chris Shanfeld talking with Indianapolis Colts quarterback Chandler Harnish here on Sportsman Radio. And with the final pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select quarterback Chandler Harnish out of NIU. How was that moment for you to hear your name called and achieve your dream to make it to the NFL? Yeah, it was surreal. It was so much fun, you know, especially being with close family and friends that day and, and just celebrating that time together and kind of all the the prior accomplishments and, and career that I had had, you know, at Northern and then back in Norwell High School where I went um, growing up. And uh, just, just an unbelievable dream come true, going to the team that I grew up loving, the Colts. Uh, I'm an Indiana boy. Uh, I grew up just outside of Fort Wayne, Indiana, so a couple hours from Indy. Um, going to that team was just, so surreal, so much fun, and, and uh, it's, it's been a heck of a ride up to this point. You know, I interviewed the 2011 Mystery Irrelevant, now at the Bears defensive end, Cheto Ozugwu, and he, and he said that, you know, he got a trophy, some money, and got to take a friend on a nice trip. Chandler, you were the 2012 Mystery Irrelevant. Did you get any of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got to go to uh, Newport Beach, California, where they had the big Mr. Irrelevant uh, event as far as uh, a banquet, vacation, took my family, went to NFL Network, Disneyland, a bunch of different things. And uh, again, it was just a cool time to celebrate the accomplishment and, and uh, spend some time with, with your family and um, got some pretty cool gifts out of it and met some really cool people along the way. You mentioned you're from uh, Indiana. In fact, you're from Bluffton, Indiana. What is it like to play for your hometown team, the Indianapolis Colts? Uh, you know, I can't put it in words. It just, I'm so proud to to represent my state and uh, and my community and, and my college community. And, uh, being close to home is a huge blessing. I get to see my family so much more than I did even in college. So that's awesome. And um, you know, my pride, my loyalty to the team runs so deep, uh, more so than most players, because I grew up a huge Colts fan. And uh, it's just, you know, it's just awesome. It really is. You guys had a, a very successful 2012 season, making an appearance in the playoffs. Unfortunately, head coach Chuck Pagano missed most of the season due to leukemia, and Bruce Arians took over and did a fantastic job. How much would you say Colt Strong and Chuck Strong encouraged you guys? I think it was 100% motivation for us. You know, that's what got us through. Uh, Chuck going down was really, really hard on the team, but... You know, you can go two different ways. You can look at it in a positive light, or you can take a negative way. And we, we chose to, to look at it in a positive. And, uh, it brought our team together. You know, we, we were all fighting for the same cause. It was more about, you know, uplifting Chuck and, and people like him who are sick and bring the community together. Uh, there's so much more to winning football games than just winning football games in the NFL. And, and uh, that's what we did. We, we started to believe and. And uh, it was just a process, one game at a time, never looking too far in the future and, and forgetting and moving on what happened in the past. So, you know, that's what we did. He was our motivation, and, uh, you know, we were able to do a pretty special thing because of it. And I know you guys are excited to have him on the sideline for the entire 2013 NFL season, Chandler. Uh, I got to ask you this, so I recently interviewed this guy, and I want to know, what was your reaction when you found out the Colts signed your former teammate from NIU, uh, wide receiver Nate Palmer? Man, I was excited. I, I, you know, Nate was my guy at Northern. He was a big time playmaker, and, and we have that, you know, kind of that that behind the scenes chemistry that you just have from time and time again, throwing and, and just being around each other and understanding what his positives and weaknesses are, and, and him likewise to me. So I was so excited and, and just proud to, to have another Husky on the team. And, and I think again, it just kind of gives more respect to NIU because yeah, there's a lot of guys from NIU that are in the league right now that are, that are doing, uh, doing big things. So, um, yeah, very exciting time. And, uh, you know, I just, I just hope the best for Nate that he continues to get better. And, uh, again, the sky's the limit for that kid. It really is. Can you tell us about that first moment you had where you thought to yourself, wow, I'm actually in the NFL? Uh, yeah, there were, there were a few moments like that, but I would say the, the first day when we put the helmet on, uh, last year, you know, put that horseshoe on my head and, and, uh, went out on the practice field, it was just pretty, pretty surreal feeling, and, um, you know, just, it just took me back to when I was a kid thinking, man, I can play, I could be on that field someday, and, and it's going to actually happen, and, and knowing all the hard work that you put into it, and all the people along the way that have helped me, uh, it just made me feel awfully proud. 
Chris Schaffel here talking with Indianapolis Colts quarterback Chandler Harnish. The Colts recently signed Matt Hasselbeck, and I assume you'll be challenging him for the backup quarterback spot. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Matt is a, a great guy, great player. Uh, brings so much knowledge and, and uh, experience to the game. But at the same time, it's a competition. Uh, I've always believed and always been taught that you know, competition breeds success. So I'm going to go in and, and compete as hard as I can. And, and at the end of the day, if, if I don't beat him out, I made him better. And if likewise, I made Andrew Luck better. And uh, and because of that, you make the team better. And, um, you know, that's what they expect out of us, to compete every day as if we are the starter. And uh, we'll see where the chips fall. Now, you wore the number eight last season, and now you're wearing the number five. I saw the video. Maybe there's some listeners out there that didn't. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so... Uh, when Matt first got sent the Colts, he called me and, and he mentioned that, hey, maybe there's an opportunity that we uh, we transfer the number over to him. And, and typically in the NFL, if someone wants a number, they, they get paid for it, or, or they pay for the number they want. And uh, we decided to do something a little bit different. We were going to uh, do something more for charity, for the community, get the people involved. And, and uh, we decided to do a half-court shot, a one-time shot if I made it. He'd give me eight grand for the number if I missed it, then there'd be no transaction. So um, it was just interesting how it all worked out. And me being an Indiana kid, I have basketball, you know, kind of flowing through my blood. And uh, we went out to a gym one day, filmed it all, and uh, I made it on the first shot, half court. And it was just so cool. It was such a, uh, a candid experience and so much fun. And we put it on Twitter and Facebook. and got the community involved, and, and the money ended up going back to my old high school, Norwalk High School, um, for Dollars for Scholars program, which helps uh, kids go to college. So uh, he paid me eight grand for the number, and uh, yeah, so we went with it. It was, it was just a lot of fun. That's great, man. That's great. What can the Indianapolis Colts and uh, fans around the world expect out of quarterback Chandler Harnish this season? I think just a kid that's going to come in and compete and, uh, you know, just be relentless every day, hard worker. And uh, playmaker, you know, whether I'm on the field or not, I'm going to make the team better. And uh, I'm a leader, uh, you know, both on and off the field, high integrity, high character guy. Uh, I believe in the cause, faith, loyalty, respect. Uh, I'm sorry, trust, loyalty, respect. That's our, our three words that we kind of live by with the Colts. Uh, that's our shield. And, uh, you know, I, I believe that and, and I live it. I don't just talk the talk, but I walk the walk. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of good things that Colts fans can expect from me. Wishing you nothing but the best, Ch Chandler. I really appreciate your time. Now, before I let you go, I have just a few uh, quick, fun questions to get to know you a bit, then I'll let you go. Does that sound good? That sounds good, man. Chandler, what's your favorite TV show and movie? Say it one more time, sorry. Favorite TV show and movie? Favorite TV show would be American Dad. Oh, come on. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. American Dad? Come on, dude. Family American Guy, man. Family Dad, Guy is better oh, than that. Dude, I love I love the, the kind of the witty, you know, sitcom uh, animated series. I love Family Guy, American Dad, all those shows. <laughs> South Park, you name it. So uh, I still got a little bit of kids left in me. Uh, so I love American Dad, my favorite movie. I got a bunch of them, but I like movies that take place back in the old days. I really like Gladiator. Um, you know, with Russell Crowe, you can't beat it. Favorite thing to eat? Chili, uh, chili cheese dogs with onions. <laughs> <laughs> Except for football, what is your favorite sport? Basketball, no doubt. If you can, if you can meet any famous person, who would that be and why? Any famous person? That's a tough question. I've been asked that before, and, and I've heard it. I think it'd be really cool uh, to meet Jesus. <laughs> uh, I know he's uh, not alive anymore, but from the past, you know, I think it'd be cool to sit down and talk to a guy like that. Um, everything that he went through and, and the persecution and everything, that'd be awesome. Absolutely. Chandler, of course, you're on Twitter, at C underscore Harnish. If it wasn't for Twitter or social media, well, we really wouldn't be doing this interview right now. I really appreciate it. Why do you make it important to connect with your fans? I, you know, I think, it's, I think it's so important. You never forget where you come from, never forget your roots, because I put myself in, in those people's shoes. When I was a kid, when I was younger in high school, I would have loved to connect with a, a pro player or a college player, whatever it may be. So I think it's important that you connect. And I feel like, you know, God has put me on a platform. I'm a Christian. I, I believe that, that he has put me on a, a platform to, to kind of spread his glory and uh, and do it in the right way with high, high character, high integrity. And, um, why not Twitter? 
or why not Facebook, why not Instagram? Those are just three platforms that you can use and uh, you make the world a better place. Now these final two questions might be a little tough, but do you remember what you bought with your first NFL paycheck? First NFL paycheck? I bought a TV. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was the first thing I owned and that was about the only thing I owned for the first year. <laughs> And last but not least, what is something about Chandler Harness that many people do not know about? Mm. Man, what is that? <laughs> uh, you know, man, I just, I love my family. I love hanging out with my family. And just, I'm one of those guys that can just sit and do nothing for hours. I'm not a lazy person, but when I'm like done for the day, I can just sit and just hang with family or friends forever. And, uh, and and not do a dang thing and just have a good time. That sounds great. Chandler, once again, it's really been a pleasure speaking to you. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully we can do it again in the future. Before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to plug on the air for myself and our listeners? Hey, yeah, I think you have a great show, man. And uh, I just want to tell those you know those listeners out there and those Twitter followers just to, to keep watching because uh, you know, as you get better and, and get more guys on here, it could be really... Uh, you turn into something pretty cool. Hey, man, I'm going to try making a career out of this, so uh, <laughs> wish me luck, man. All right, good luck. Hey, take care. Take care, man.